Hey, hello friends. In this video, I'm going to talk about the web development and the necessary tools that are required to start building web pages. We will also do the tools and environment setup. If you are a beginner and looking for some content about where to start, then you are at the right place. So let's get started. Let me first give you some introduction about web development. Web is a very big place and if you are an internet user then you must have visited a lot of web applications like Facebook, Twitter, Amazon, Netflix. But before we build our own websites we need to understand about some very useful tools that we need in order to start building websites. So let's see what are the tools that we will need and do the setup. First is the web browsers. I don't think I need to explain you what are the web browsers, but yes, I will just add web browsers are the applications where we can see our web pages that we build. It renders the markup and runs the JavaScript. We will talk about markup JavaScript in the coming videos. So what are the options we have? The popular ones are Edge, Chrome, Firefox. But my personal choice is Chrome as it is fast and the dev tool options are very helpful for developers. Although I have used Firefox as well for a couple of years, but my preference changed as Chrome offers much better dev tool options. So you can download the Chrome or Firefox by using the links provided in the description below. So this is the official page of Google Chrome. And this one is for the Firefox. So it's your preference whether you use uh, Chrome or Firefox. You can download it by clicking on the download button and it's very pretty easy to install it. You just need to open the installer and you need to click next, next, next and then it's done. Another important tool for web development is code editor. So we have a couple of options as Notepad++, VS Code and Sublime. Notepad++ is better than the native Notepad on Windows or the TextMate on Mac. Sublime is good. But VS Code is the most popular in the industry as it offers more useful features for development. It is free, fast and lightweight code editor. It offers tons of extensions for increasing our development speed and comes with built-in terminal. I mean, I don't have anything bad to say about VS Code. So let's see how we can set up VS Code. So we can download the Visual Studio Code from, from this official website and we, we, we can click on the download button. So here you can see we get three options for Windows, for Linux and Mac. I'm using Windows, so I'll click on the Windows button and I'll download the installer. I have already downloaded the installer so you just need to open the installer you need to follow the instructions and that's it it's pretty straightforward next is version control version control help us to keep the track of all the changes to a file or a project over time so that we can check any specific version change in future although we don't need version control in the coming videos but it is important to know about it we will be installing Git as our version control tool. Version control enables multiple people to work simultaneously on a single project. I will make a separate deep dive video on Git. So Git is used for creating repositories. But GitHub, GitLab and Bitbucket are the popular websites that help you to host your repositories and see the changes merge code of different developers. So let's install Git. You can find the link in description. So this is the official website of the Git and you can download any of the installer depending on your operating system. So I'm using Windows and I have already installed Git on my machine. So this is the Git bash and if I type Git you can see that I, I get the Git commands. So that means Git is installed successfully on my machine. We will be covering all these Git commands in the Git video where I will show you how we can create a repository, 
clone repository, create branches and lot of other cool stuffs. You can use git bash or terminal for running git commands. Also, we will have to create our account on GitHub or GitLab. It is the company's preference what hosting site they have to use. I have worked with all the three hosting sites with different clients. So you can create your GitHub account. You just need to sign up. If you don't have an account, fill in your details and verify your account. Once you are verified, you can click on the sign in. You can log in and you can log into the GitHub. So this is so this is my GitHub account. So last we will install JavaScript runtime environment that is Node.js. So you can think like if you want to run JavaScript code, then you use web browsers such as Chrome. But if you want to run JS code without the browser, then we can run it with Node.js as it has JS runtime built on Chrome V8 JavaScript engine. Node.js comes with NPM, which is a node package manager for Node JavaScript platform. And it helps to manage dependencies for our project. We will understand more about Node.js and NPM in the coming videos. So this is the official page of the Node.js and you can see here we have two options to download the Node.js but the recommended for most users is this 12.18.3. It has a long term support so we will just click on it and download the installer file and I have already downloaded it on my machine so you open the installer and you just follow the instructions. One last thing I want to show you you can check whether your Node.js is successfully installed or not. You can open your git bash and you just need to type node-v if it gives you a proper version. Yes, that means the Node.js is installed successfully. We can also check the npm version by putting npm-v. And yes, we have node and npm installed successfully. So now we have done all the basic setup for our web development. So in the next video, we will see what programming languages a beginner should learn to start building web applications. If you like the video, a thumbs up is appreciated. And if you want to be notified for new videos, hit subscribe and bell icon. If you want to connect with me, please check my Instagram and Facebook links in description. Thanks for watching.